Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about the second problem from the latest code forces round A23 problem name meeting on the line. So you are given n people that are living on a coordinate line, the 8th person lives on a coordinate x of y. So you are given different points, n people are living on a coordinate line and x of y denotes where the particular po person is living on that coordinate line and they want to meet at a particular position x of 0. Okay, they want to meet at a particular position. Now the 8th person will spend x of i minus x of 0 to get to that particular position obviously so let's say that uh, let's take an example as well let's say that this is a number line and one person is living here one person is living here so let's say it is x1 it is x2 the x3 and where this should be meeting let's say uh, let's assume that they want to meet at this x0 so if a, this person want to get to this this is the distance it will travel that is x1 minus x0 you can just do an absolute value because you can subtract it from here so everyone want to reach here the absolute value that is the distance between this point and this point is the actual distance between these two points so everyone wants to reach x0 so that's it that is a distance or number of time it will take and to meet the meeting place also the ith person needs xt of ti amount of time to get dressed and so the total amount of time everyone will reach at the like it will take to reach the particular destination is t of i to get ready and x of i minus x of 0 to reach that particular uh, position okay so everyone will take some time to get ready also okay now you just have to tell that what is the most optimal x of 0 you can choose to meet all the position, like people at the portal of position. Now uh, depending on there might be multiple approaches for this but the simple thing which I can assume or like see from this drawing as well. I want to meet this particular uh, at this particular x, x of 0. So what you can see is that if there is an additional overhead of time for every person. Okay let's say if there is no time. If there is no time. And there is this person literally living at here, this person living at here, everyone is living at some particular point. What is the most optimal place that you want to meet to? If they are living at these points and on a number line, what do So the thing is that I just find out the most extreme on the left hand side on the, and on the right hand side and just find out the average of it. That is, let's say this is the x1, is this is x2 plus x2 divided by 2. That is the most optimal position that they should be meeting out. Why? Because that is the middle. Okay, of the two extremes, everyone will come very fast. These two extreme people will take the most time, and thus they, it should be the middle among both of the extreme people. Everyone in the middle will be taking out less time uh, instead of the extreme people. So it will be that this amount. But what will happen is that because it has uh, some over overhead, let's say this is T1 taking more time. Okay, this is taking three three T3 more time. Uh, it is taking let's say T2 more time. So what is actually we we gonna do in this particular scenario? What you can understand is that. What you can assume this time is like they are giving that this time is to let's say get ready. But you can also assume that this time in this number line only. How you can do take that? What you can say is that if I shift this person, because see, this time to get to this is x0 minus x1, which is let's say let's say let, let's assume that this is uh 2 and this is 0. So if I want to get from 0 to 0 uh, position to 1 position, I will take 2 minutes. Okay, which is like a distance. So every minute will take 1 distance. Even if let's say I want to get ready in let's say 5 minutes, which you can also assume that I, if my house is shifted to the left hand side to more 5 minutes, it means that I am, I am taking no time to dress, but I am just moving and to like get to this position. And it will take me like let's say, uh, 5 plus 2 that is my 7 minutes to get ready or like to get to the position. If I am assuming that I am not getting ready. Hope you get the point. So I am like shifting my houses. Okay. Now why, why you are saying that I can only shift it to left hand side. I can also shift it to right hand side. If I shift to right hand side then I will get like I will get ahead of time. That is false. For this person I, I am taking more time to get to that particular position. I hope you get the point. So that is the overall thing. For these positions I have to shift it to the left hand side. And, and for these positions, I have to shift it to the right hand side. And what you have to understand is that then they have converted to a new coordinate thing. And then you have to just find out the minimum of all of them and maximum of all of them and just have to print out the answer. Got it? So for every position, you have to just shift it on the left, like all these positions on the left hand side and the right hand side. And then just print and just find out the like minimum, the most minimum and most maximum and just print out the answer. Okay. So how you can tell that? So every position. I'm new at asking like okay for this position where should I shift this position where should I shift so I'll just try to shift it in every like I will shift it here as well I, I'll shift it here as well this will eventually be minimum okay if I shift this person here as well this is actually minimum of what I want so it it doesn't really care matter because I just want the maximum the the maximum order so when I shift it here 
this eventually will be changing my answer my answer will be the finding out the maximum and minimum among all of these shifted coordinates i hope you get the point so that's the overall thing what we're going to do that we will just shift all of them and just find out the answer okay so let's move on to the solution it's not too difficult if you just draw it out and understand like what is the actual uh drawing actually really helps out here so what we have done is that we have taken the input of the positions as well as the time of the ith person in the input and uh, we have to find out the minimum maximum so what i'll do is iterate over everything and for every x of i i will add t of i and again x of i minus t of i okay so I either i'll like move it to the left hand side or right hand side both and if i'm moving on the like let's say if, I, if i'm adding then it's moving to the right hand side so i want to maximize it okay because it, if i'm moving on the right hand side it is increasing the value and it is moving on the right hand side so i want to maximize that distance how many right it can go and if i'm subtracting out how many left it can go and i will just find out the maximum and minimum value and when i find the maximum value the the actual answer that i want to go to is the maximum plus minimum divided by two that's the position that i want to reach to and that was, that's the overall thing that is the o of n solution because i'm just doing a for loop and that's it. That's the logic for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention down in the comment box of this particular problem. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I will see you in the next one. Like the coding and bye.